Hi everyone, uh, we are going to do this uh, junk journal today. I showed you in my last video, I've done a flip through uh, this and you wanted a tutorial, so here goes. So, putting this aside, I used a watercolor paper uh, from this watercolor pad and you don't have to have watercolor paper I just have it it's accessible and cheap from the cheap store so that's what I used and this is an A3 but it really doesn't matter I would use whatever I have an A3 is basically two A4s which is printer paper so two A4s is an A3 and this is watercolor paper 300 uh, grams per a uh, paper and it's thick and it can withstand a lot of stuff so I didn't measure anything I just took the page and folded it in half and then I started tearing boom I have too much stuff laying down here and just used a ruler like this to make my pages and I decided on the size that I wanted I could have stopped at this size but I decided to go smaller as you as you've seen and I wanted these torn edges so that's how I went about it of course if you don't like this you can just use a utility knife this is really simple free and just not overthinking anything and using whatever you have on hand so if you don't have watercolor paper but you have other uh, thick paper use this if it's not thick enough and it doesn't matter what kind it is just glue two or three together and then you will have a nice substrate to work on even pages from a book I will if I wanted to use pages from a book I would uh, glue two or three together and that's what would I would use And of course you can do as many uh, pages for your journal as you want just don't do overdo it don't put too many pages or it will become overwhelming and that's not the purpose uh, in this kind of junk journal you can do like you can start small and you can add as you go if you really want to add so don't uh, do too many now, uh, that's about the paper, and then I went and started coloring the pages with all kinds of watery paint. And what do I mean by that? I mean anything that will react with water, and the possibilities are endless. So, I, I'm going to uh, show you a, some... A, <laughs> got stuck all kinds of ways to go about it and I decide I have some examples here uh, I decided that I want one side to be with blues and greens and sometimes there will be something else uh, but and the other side will be yellows oranges and red just because I thought about it when I'm uh, putting together the pages I didn't want the same color to be next to each other I wanted it to be more interesting that's the only um, reason that I decided on it but if you want something like this you can go something like that and of course pick any color that you like so starting one a uh, option of course is watercolor and it doesn't matter the brand so I'm and of course I'm doing first one side and when it's dry I will go and do the other side so I'm taking a brush 
and taking some paint and I used either an acrylic block or acetate there are many ways to go about it and the only thing that matters is to use a non-porous surface and I just smooshed it and played with it and it really doesn't matter the only thing that matters is having fun don't overthink it wherever it goes it goes and smooshing okay so very easy and I've used two colors if I want something more I can decide to add some green just so it won't be so blue I'm not even cleaning I'm just playing around as you can see and here we go one page start off a, a background so that was one way to go about it with watercolors moving this aside another way is uh, using distress inks so I've got this I've got this one and let's go with red again it really doesn't matter use whatever you have you can even decide to uh, use blue from the watercolors a green from the distress inks and I don't know <laughs> anything else that w will react with water so I'm spraying this with water and once again I can just do like this and I can just leave it and let it soak into the paper again playing I don't care now if you don't want the colors to mix let this dry and move on to the next a uh, color I don't care again I will probably say I don't care a lot of times in this <laughs> video because it really is free and just having fun and if I want another color that I don't have in distress ink, I will pick something else. Here goes another way. I've got water soluble oil pastels. If I want this magenta color, I will do something like that. Take a brush with water, activate it. That's what I'm referring with. watery colors anything that reacts with water you can also do it with gelatos so you have so many options so here goes another one and another a uh, way to go about it i had i have sprays that i made from gel food coloring and water i don't measure i put few drops of the gel food coloring in the bottle add water test it if it's uh, vibrant enough good if not I will add more gel food coloring and I can spray it here I can spray on here and again just smoosh it or I can do something like this you see I don't overthink it I'm just and smooshing whatever works for you here goes another background so lots of options to go about it now next after we have all our first layer of paint on each page now we are going to start adding visual texture to the page lots of ways to go about it again it can be stencils it can be a um, stamps whatever you have 
when I made my uh, junk journal, I picked some stamps and I've picked this one because it had uh, the same feel to it but a variation in the shapes. I picked some text because I really like text in the background. I picked this so if I want to have some kind of border I only use this one on several pages. More a uh, text, only a uh, scribbly uh, one. And let's see what else. All kinds of stuff. It really doesn't matter. I all I also have uh, all kinds of stamps that I made. If it's from uh, rubbery gaskets and a uh, craft foam, so you have lots of stuff. Uh, even the back of a, <laughs> the underside of a flip flop has some kind of pattern. All kinds of stuff to uh, go about it. So, uh, what I've done is if I have, let's start with this one. If I have this background, I've picked again uh, colors that will correspond with the colors I have here. And let's see, let's pick some... Uh, you can do it with acrylics and the background also you can do with acrylics all again just water it down and do the same uh, thing so if that's the only thing that you have you can use acrylics so just going about it with this randomly I'm using this stamp just so you can see that it doesn't have to be any fancy uh, stamp set like this you can do all kinds of stuff with what you have on hand so let's see let's take this one just spread it around have fun What's the worst that could happen? You will, f the worst, uh, the far worst that you it could happen, you will throw this page. But I never throw anything. You can always cover it. And I had one page that I didn't uh, quite like, so I just put some paper napkin on top of it. I think this one, the the back of the journal, that was it. And here I didn't like it, uh, so I glued a um, coloring page and on top of it one of uh, the backing of paper napkins that I um, color with sprays. Here we go. And we've got an interesting background. Next. <laughs> so if I have, let's see, this one, then I'm picking colors again that will correspond with this. And let's just for the demonstration, pick <clears throat> some acrylics so you will see that it can be done with acrylics. Here we go, some yellow here. And let's see. I'm not sure if it will be, it will show. If not, I will pick some darker color, but it really doesn't matter. I'm adding some interest to the background it's visual texture it doesn't uh, need to uh, overwhelm the page otherwise whatever you will put next won't be visible The 
that's better. So as you can see, and this is just craft foam that I've cut and glued. Good enough. Let's see. What else do I want? Let's put some red. Now, because it's dark, I will try and stamp some something very small so it won't be too too much on the page let's find something else i have all kinds of lids water lids and round objects so here goes I'm mixing it with the orange here. I'm so having fun making this. And just for the fun of it, uh, the back of this uh, felt pen, a marker pen, whatever, is looks like a flower so let's do flowers always ha you always have something at home that will make stamps here we go what a lovely background. I'm already in love with it. So, putting this aside. And let's cleanse a little bit here. And, of course, you can always add later on. Now, I hardly used uh, stencils. Most of my stencils are uh, quite large, so they won't fit in here on the small pages but I'm going to pick some one now and try and do something just so you will have another example how you can add to your page so I'll be back okay so picked <laughs> two uh, almost random uh, stencils just because they are small never use this I uh, let's see if I can do something with it so I'm taking this distress ink and a makeup a uh, brush and let's see <laughs> never thought I will use this it came in a pack with other stuff Ooh. Why didn't I use it before? <laughs> Ooh, I like it. I never thought it would work. Okay, so this is nice. Moving on. Let's do another one. Just because I can. <laughs> let's do... No. Let's try this one. This crushed olive. Uh, only... I will clean a little bit my brush and let's see oh I like it okay so let's do another one with this and try not to overwhelm my page because this is not the focal point that's nice Uh, 
that's lovely. I really like it. Okay. So we've got progress. And as you can see, you can work with stencils on top of it. And let's do just one more. Just with the stamp set I've showed you. So you won't feel cheated that I didn't show you what I've done before. Let's see. Again, randomly. And it doesn't need to be perfect or anything. This is just adding interest. Like so. And other page is done. Now I went and done most of my pages with the distress inks. Mostly because it's dry. I didn't want to wait for uh, something else to uh, to be dry. Uh, so that's the only thing. It was very uh, easy to go about it that way. If I used acrylics or if I uh, any other met medium, then I would have to wait. And I didn't want to wait for another thing to dry. So here goes. And of course I could have changed and I as I said I like a text so I can just take some some really don't care what it says and just add again randomly to my page here we go another one is already finished so i'm going to put away all this stuff and now we are going to move on to <laughs> all the making of a page and i will show you the options all the stuff that I've kept and that's what I used inside and I'll be back okay so now we've got some pages to work with and what I've done when I, I did the other journal is just take all my stashes all the things that I keep and try to incorporate them into the pages uh, we are accumulating so many stuff and uh, there are bits and pieces these are things that mostly that I've done but I keep all kinds of stuff <laughs> that I can't seem to uh, get rid of pieces of paper that I like and all kind of stuff that is left over from other projects these are paper uh, the backing of paper napkin that I've uh, sprayed with my sprays bits and pieces from gel plates coloring pages uh, pieces of paper napkins all uh, all kind of stuff so these are some of the stuff that I had uh, this is a painty paper that I stamped this a leaf on top and cut it so I used it already in two projects and still I've got more uh, here are more stuff that I keep all kind of things that I've uh, done or punched out of other stuff I have stickers that I need to use butterflies a lot of them some I got in happy mail some I've I made when in doubt stick a butterfly more kind of uh, stickers from the cheap store uh, I kept 
<laughs> buying stuff and I need to use a, this is a, a I had a big mandala that I made and then I just copied it on sticker paper and this and put it there in all kinds of sizes and now I've got these stickers so all kinds of stuff that is just building up in my stashes leftovers of all kinds of lace and trims and nets and whatever ATCs that I've done that needs to be uh, used I hope I'm in frame and all kinds of stuff a little piece of paper napkin that was glued to a page and I still keep it so this I got in happy mail these are just a uh, circles I've punched from a uh, book jacket no books were harmed in the process it's just when new books are coming into a library and they have book jackets uh, they are removing the book jackets because they won't last and instead of going to the garbage I take them so if I uh, see something that is interesting I'm taking it and just punching uh, circles and this I think I have it already like four or five years this is a paper napkins that I embossed and so I, I really need to use more and I'm using it and still <laughs> it seems like I, I'm not putting a dent into the stashes so I'm moving a most of it aside and here are the pages I I want to do some with you just so you will see how I'm uh, going about it like I see this piece of paper napkin and I'm thinking oh I like uh, this flower so I'm going to just take it out with a brush with water I'm not even taking a whole flower from the paper napkin. I like it that it has this straight edge. And sometimes I will go, if this is orange, sometimes I will go um, against the the colors I have on the page and sometimes I will decide to go with depends what I <laughs> feel like uh, at the moment so I'm thinking I'm going to glue it here I'm just going to uh, use some glue stick it's small uh, piece I'm going to get rid of the excess later it really doesn't matter I can always do this my edges are torn so I can just keep with it now if you uh, feel that you don't like that some of the edges are torn and the other ones are straight you can always go and distress it you can either take uh, scissors and go like this or use sanding paper or I have this that is supposed to be for your feet and I'm just go like this so whatever you you like so I really like this a uh, flower here and I'm thinking that I want to add just a little piece I don't know here or maybe just let's do this so you see I'm just taking bits and pieces from a paper napkin that I've already used several times and I'm gluing it and I'm not thinking about what the end result will be 
I'm just putting something that feels right. In the process of making it, it can be even part of the background. And I can decide later on that I want to take one of my, for example, one of my ATCs and stick it in the middle. I don't know. Like something like that. I can decide on something like that. You see? One sticker got off. I can ha do take one that hasn't I have I haven't finished yet, put it here and then decide on something uh, on the inside. So there is no a pre-planning I'm just looking at what I have in front of me in the stashes and just going with the flow that's the best explanation that I can find so I really like this but I'm feeling like it's more of in the background and I want something in the middle so let's see Maybe, yeah, maybe something like this, so it will pop on the page. Oh yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. So this one is going here. A little bit of glue. And I need to unclog it. <laughs> <laughs> and this uh, process is just messy you you keep having more and more stuff going around on your desk but that's part of it so I'm trying to move aside several stuff and if I want some words, I usually keep it to last. I will do a page like this and for me this is finished. Uh, or maybe... No, it's not finished. <laughs> Just decided that I want something uh, else on the page. I like the black on what is going on here but I want some text I told you I like text in the background so once again I'm taking one of the stamps and I'm just going to stamp it randomly like so I want it something in black in the background so it would go with my focal point and now I'm done and if I want some words uh, it will be later on so putting this aside let's do one with this side and I'm really feeling like this needs to go here and just so it will go with the rest of the page i think i will uh, add more of this kind of dots in the background so now i need to find uh, the stamp that i've used for these dots and uh, i can't bring to the desk all my stashes so I'm just here we go found it okay I like it of course, you can also have washi tapes and all kinds of stuff, whatever you've got. 
just use it. Take out all the things that you thought you will use later on and use it now. And have fun with it. Okay, here we go. And I feel it needs some kind of border. I can stamp, I can do many things. I think I will bring some of the washi tape that I just talked about. Especially the ones, this, the thin ones. Yeah, why not? I, I already have lots of glue on my hands. Just a hint of a border and it also have dots so it's working with the rest of what I've done here. Yeah, so we've got another one. Let's see. Maybe one more. And then I will show you how I uh, bound the, um, the, the journal, all these pages. And it's so easy, you will laugh. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to use this and, 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 no, maybe finally I'm going to use this. Maybe a part of it. Let's do something. Okay, I'm going to use this here and yeah, don't know if the glue stick will be enough, but right now I'm just doing things quickly just so you will see all kinds of stuff that you can do. If it won't stick, then later on I will reinforce it. Yeah. And... Yeah, going for this. So just as you can see, Little pieces that are just waiting to be used. I'm taking now a, an acrylic marker and I'm going to do the stem and some kind of leaf just going with it need to hold it down but here we go we've got another page okay so basically this is it you just use what you have and go with the flow and that's it 
<laughs> I don't have anything more to add. <laughs> and basically, what I've done to uh, bind everything together is just taken this and then I went and taken a piece of paper that is, and I've cut it approximately. the length of my page like so doesn't have to be straight or anything folded it in half I'm going to do a template just so I can uh, punch the pages and let's take a marker so this is the middle point and here we go anyone ha everyone can have it this is office supply oh, I want to punch it here and of course I can you can do all the pages before or you can punch everything I'm aligning the the middle point we if you don't know there is always a an arrow here at the middle so I'm just aligning the two and punching moving on very very simple And it doesn't have to be very precise. So, then you've got all of this and you just pick something that you like to go through it. If it's a ribbon, a satin ribbon, or if it's jute, whatever you like. And I haven't taken out anything in advance so I'm just taking something that <laughs> I've reached to <laughs> so I just go through and if you're having trouble then you can take something like a needle or a stylus or whatever like so taking it through and I just did a very loose knot and that's it. And of course I had the other uh, hole. And then you just, you have it. That's it, that's the whole thing. And don't do it, don't do, do it so tight, do it loosely so you can flip through if you are uh, doing it tight, it can also uh, tear up your pages. So, I think I'm going to do a few more pages and, or, I don't know, maybe a lot and then maybe I'll do <laughs> another uh, flip through just so you can see what you can do. Maybe, I don't know. So, I hope that helped and I hope you really... Uh, take out all the stuff you, you, you've accumulated and start using it and have fun with it. So thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments down below. I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.